Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Hayloft Game Room. Today we're going to be continuing our journey through the pre-release packs. And today we're going to be doing two Core 2021 pre-release packs. Now, Core 2021. Actually, um, actually a very good core set. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed it quite a lot. And I haven't looked at any of the, the cards or any of the prices. So this is going to be kind of like an adventure. Let's we'll start off with this one. Ooh, ooh, all right. <clears throat> now I know this had some pretty cool planeswalkers in it. Oh, our spin die just tried to escape. Let's see. M21. Sweet. We got a, a good collection of those now. So that's good. But let's get this. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, there's like a arena code. We're just gonna put that over. Alright. <clears throat> Six packs. Uh, looks like we got a Felidar Sovereign for our. You know, I'll, I'll take that out of the packaging here. I know I kind of ruined it, but. I'm not gonna keep a Felidar Sovereign sealed. It's not worth it, really. Unless I wanna make a cat tribal deck and save the card quality. Eh, no. Alright. <clears throat> Nah, I guess we could just open both of these. Yeah, we'll do both. Ooh. This is a very sharp knife, by the way. I probably should just open it like I did to the last one. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Core 2021 was actually a really cool set. And it had, like, a... I know the Teferi card had some cool... Um, and there were some cool reprints in it too, and it, the fairy card had some cool stuff going on with it, but I'm pretty sure the prices are pretty good for this set. And let's see what we got for our card. Oh, this is actually a pretty crazy card. I'm going to keep it in this. This is, alright, let's see, Heroic Intervention, if you want to give permanency control, indestructible, and hexproof. Sweet. Alright. That's, uh, you don't get to see that arena code, that's mine. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's jump right into it. Uh, 12 packs, boom, we're in, we're doing it. Alright, are these reversed? What's going on with these? Oh, I forgot about this. The full arts for this were pretty crazy, and we got one in a normal pack. But it looks like these are kind of reversed packs. And, ooh, Mythic on the first one, Liliana Waker of the Dead. Good Planeswalker, it's pretty solid. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh... Uh, there's our mythics. We're gonna put mythics up there. Uh, uncommons. Uncommons, and I guess we'll just put commons here. All right, there we go. But a mythic on the first pack. Now that that's a good start right there. Solid opening. Uh, junk. Common. Foil. Who? Oh, I remember this card was in the set. All right. Grim Tutor. When this set came out, people were expecting Grim Tutor to drop, and I remember how much it dropped. People were so surprised by the fact that Grim Tutor dropped by so much. But this is still a really good card, and we are just going off, going off crazy right now in these first couple of packs. So we can keep this crazy train going. You know, Ozzy Osbourne. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. Zombie. Foil action. Thieves Guild Enforcer for our first normal rare. That is weird to say. That. Oh, Tomlad's Crypt. There were some really cool reprints in this set. I remember that. I'm pretty sure there's some value in the commons and uncommons on the first release, but I'm not sure if there's still value there. Tomlad's Crypt probably has a little bit of value. That's a weird. Huh, because it's weird. <laughs> Peer into the Abyss. Uh, eh. Hi, Mana Cost. Hi, CMC. Eh. Probably not the best. But I remember the the shrines. Those were supposed to be pretty good. I, I forget. They probably lost their value. Nice little Opt. Opt is always a good card. You can never... I mean, like, Opt is just... Top deck manipulation and drawing cards in one card. I mean, it's 
That's pretty solid. Alright, Stormwing Entity. Ooh, mm -hmm, nah. Uh, not a fan, but I mean, it's a rare. Oh, Archfiend's Vessel. I remember this card used to be so annoying in Standard. It'd be like a Luris combo. What you could do is you could just return this from your graveyard and make a, a free 5-5. Five five. I'd say that's a pretty solid uncommon. I wasn't too impressed with the alternate arts for this set, though. Goblin Wizard? Eh, Spark Hunter Manicore for some disappointment. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't too thrilled with this alternate art. I mean, it was like, okay, but... Eh. They just put a different frame around it. For, like, it's not as good as the Innistrad or like any, any other alternate art. It was better than the alternate art for this set. Moving on to our second pre-release pack. Oh, we're going crazy right now. I can't believe that we still got two Mythics. Even though like we, we've gotten mediocre stuff on these other packs, these are two solid pulls right here. So, Teferi's Ageless Insight. I'm pretty sure this goes infinite and combos with some other stuff. So that's, that's pretty solid. As again with these pre-release packs, we are opening these because they do not have very much resale value. And you know what? They're fun to open. Uh, you get like a little bit of a fun extra card thing there. I don't know what to call that. Ruined Halo. Hmm. Eh. <laughs> Walking Corpse. That was in the first set that I ever played, M13. That's a little bit of nostalgia right there. Ooh, Sanctum of All. Cool. That seems to be interesting. That's a little Wooberg color. Man, I'm really, I'm really liking these pre-release packs. Uh, they're, they're really fun to open because they're, they're nice and short and brief. Yeah, yeah, like the, that alternate art. I mean, it looks, it doesn't look bad, but it's like, eh, it's kind of just underwhelming. Volcanic Salvo. What is the heck? Eh, that doesn't seem too great. Not thrilled with that one. On to our last two packs. Let's see if we can uh, hit some home runs in the in the stretch here, in the final stretch. Oh no, no, we we are not gonna. We hit a primal might. Oh, cultivate. That's that's a good reprint in this set. They they seem to put a lot more commander cards, commander friendly cards in this set when they when they made it. All right, final pack. Will we get anything good? We shall see. All right. Beast token, foil thornwood falls, and whoa! Final pack. We actually got a mythic. I am surprised. Chromatic orrery. That is that the no. This is the first. Is it the first time we pulled chromatic orrery on this channel? I think so. What a what a good way to end the video on a mythic. We got three mythics in um in two uh, pre-release packs. Actually, that I would say that's pretty solid. Normally. Pre-release packs can sometimes not have any mythics, and then that's like just, just a big disappointment. But getting these three, like a, a Grim Tutor, that is crazy. That is good. Uh, thank you for joining me in this awesome opening. Uh, thank you for if you made it this far. Thank you for sticking uh, through the entire video. Um, see you next time in Halo Gamer.